Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Risky Business. My name is Tim Thompson. I am the host of your show today, and we're carrying on our conversation around cyber insurance and the importance of it. Uh, John Armstrong is here to join us again. Welcome, uh, welcome to the show, John. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for having me. Great. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about ransomware and cybersecurity insurance. So, ransomware has kind of evolved into this new beast that has taken over the world around all of these breaches and the bad guys will go in and basically lock down your network and hold your company at ransom unless you pay unless you pay the the bitcoin fee or whatever that is and so things will things have changed over the last couple of years they all the ransomware stuff what they're doing is they're encrypting the network or excuse me um they're encrypting the network and then they're actually if you're demanding the ransom and if you don't pay it what they then will do is they will release your information into the dark web and all of a sudden all of your corporate information is out there and then and then now you got to get into an insurance premium discuss or insurance claim discussion and so what we wanted to talk a little bit about today is you know understanding the fact that just because you have an insurance premium it's not going to save you from ransomware ransomware is going to take over the network but what is the insurance premium going to do to assist within the ransomware dump yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously the claims process is somewhat similar to every claims process. You report it to your broker or directly to the insurance company. Some have, you know, apps where you can do that. Uh, the insurance policy, and they all vary depending on the carrier. There's different enhancements with different carriers. So as a broker, that's what we do is we kind of uh, market it um, to all the insurance companies. We provide you with the best quote and the best coverage. Uh, and we make you, uh, we don't make you, we consult <laughs> with you to determine the best coverage for your company. So, you know, typically ransomware, so they cover, the insurance companies will cover the cost of of responding to the ransomware, they'll cover the cost of, of, of the ransom uh, request. Um, and then they'll do stuff like, you know, some companies will pay for the, you know, there'll be an enhancement to rebuild your reputation in the marketplace, et cetera, et cetera. So it really depends on the company that, that uh, you're with and the enhancements that they have, but but the primary coverage is enforced for for all carriers that we deal with, and um, you know the claim process is is fairly straightforward. I mean they're going to investigate the claim. They're going to you know do all the all the things that they would normally do on every claim, making sure that it's not a that it's a legitimate claim and that it's not. Um, you know, not an employee of the company that's uh, <laughs> that's handling the uh, the uh, the assault on your system. Uh, but you know, they'll they'll check all the boxes on the claim. But when when it gets approved, they will they will handle the the, the costs of the ransomware and and uh, the cost of response to it. And and that's and those are all, that's a great point. At the end of the day, there's more there's much more than just the network being taken down and your data being held at ransom. There's downtime. There's reputation. There's legal. There's there's so many different facets of being encrypted and not only just not only the stress of it all, but the, the reputational damage in the business community goes a long ways, right? And so we want to make sure that, again, I've said this before, there's no magic bullet that's going to stop this thing. But on those applications, there's a number of checkboxes that companies need to adhere to. Um, and I, you know, I'm a big believer in the education around cybersecurity and understanding where to invest. Um, yeah. Companies don't need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on this, but ultimately what we want to do is we need to define what you're trying to protect, and then we can leverage that and work backwards to define what an insurance premium would look like to help work with you guys, and then we'll ultimately put those controls in to mitigate against that risk. So um, the insurance piece for me is very important, which is why I like enjoy working with you, because I've, every company I talk to is always like, what do I do with insurance, and how do I get there? What does it protect me from? and where where do i go right so at the end of the day the insurance premiums will not prevent cyber uh, a ransomware attack it will not save you it will just help you in the long run and as long as you have those checks and balances in place you'll be you should be okay with those insurance companies is that fair absolutely tim i think you know this this goes with every um every type of insurance we can only do what we can do and we got to follow the best practices we got to make sure that we are doing the right things to protect ourselves uh, and our our ability to be insured in the future uh, and and our business relationships and all that kind of stuff but i think you're absolutely right this this does not stop any of these claims from occurring you just want to be in the best possible position to make sure that they don't happen um, 
but if they do, that you're also in the best possible situation to handle them in, in a in a in a in the best possible way. So um, yeah, what you provide cyber trends is is very important with the education piece, and enjoy working with you too, Tim. Well, that's great. So I got one last question before we wrap up: Is it the Oilers or the Flames in the Stanley Cup this year? <laughs> I think it's going to be the Flames, Tim. You know that. <laughs> it's not the well, I'm rock, cheering, that's what I'll say. <laughs> I'm, I'm cheering. I'm cheering for the Oilers, and that's just me. So, anyways, great, great information, John. It's always good to see you again. I appreciate your time. If anybody wants to get a hold of you, how do we do that? Uh, Jay Armstrong at mycoreinsurance.com. So that's M Y C O R, and then my my telephone number is five eight seven three five two zero five four five. You can also reach me on LinkedIn. I have twenty four hour turnaround on all inquiries and look forward to helping you out awesome well thanks everybody for tuning in i appreciate uh your time today as always and it was great to see you take care good to see you thanks tim okay, thanks hey hope you enjoyed the episode remember if you know somebody that wants to be our next guest please click the link below thanks for watching and please subscribe so you never miss another episode <laughs>